Well, obviously, I'm very honored and humbled to join this distinguished academy. I am a professor at the University of Chicago and a paleoanthropologist, which means I strive to explore how we became human and educate the public about our place within the greater biodiversity. I believe paleoanthropological knowledge on our shared past can help improve the human condition. Challenges like climate change, pandemics, racism, war, in many ways are tied to our lack of knowledge of other communities, other species, and nature in general. As Jane discussed, we are all interconnected. We need to focus on nature-based solutions to address current challenges and adaptation is critical. We are the result of adaptation. Knowing our evolutionary history is therefore critical to achieve this path also to put our current dominance on the planet in perspective. As we know more about our past and our own nature, we will learn to be more humble so we can live in harmony with each, uh, with each other, other creatures, and our environment. Through my work on human origins, I investigate the key events in human evolution as I outlined when I was talking about Eve Copan's from where we first walked on two legs all the way to the advent of our species, Homo sapiens. Among many contributions, I would mention my discovery of the earliest and most complete skeleton of a child dating back to 3.3 million years ago, and the earliest evidence for the use of stone tools and meat consumption 3.4 million years ago, both published on the front page of Nature. These discoveries therefore tell us a lot on how we became human. I look forward to sharing my work with all of you as we continue to interact using the Academy as a vehicle. As I introduce myself today, however, I cannot ignore something that is extremely important to me personally and should concern all of us, and especially the Catholic Church. It is also consistent with the, the symposium's theme of human development, peace, and planetary health. As Amina said yesterday, I believe humanity is under one big time. Currently, the deadliest war on Earth is being waged on the people of Tigray in northern Ethiopia by the Ethiopian and Eritrean government. I am from Ethiopia. Tigray is a region in Ethiopia. A genocidal war has been in progress for two years. An estimated 500,000 people have been killed and over 3 million people displaced from their homes in just two years. Ethnic cleansing, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and gender-based violence have been widely documented. Tens of thousands, including Catholic nuns and other religious ministers, priests, have been indiscriminately detained and killed. These are atrocities I know the Academy is opposed to. As I speak right now, seven million people are cut off from the rest of the world by the Ethiopian government in Tigray, do not have access to basic services, telephone, banking, food, and medicine, even humanitarian aid and uh, basic services are compromised and halted. I note that the war on Tigray is part of the wider malaise in our global system where human rights of people are being ignored by the rise of authoritarian regimes. I pray for the people of Ukraine. I also pray for those who are in remote places like Ethiopia. As your new colleague and simply a human being, I call on all of us in the Catholic Church to help end the suffering of the people of Tigray in any way we can. I ask for your prayers for the innocent children, women, and men of Tigray. I implore you to speak up, speak about, denounce this terrible war and atrocities, and join my appeal for unfettered humanitarian access, access to basic services, accountability, and for peace. Thank you. I ask you to step forward so that I don't need to push eminence and excellency around. Um, the real thing happens tomorrow when you are in front of Pope Francis. This is a beautiful Latin document which welcomes you to the academy. 